Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're heading to France, 1940, for a game of Chain of Command. So if you're wondering if you clicked on the right video or not, you did. Uh, if the board looks familiar, that's because we just used it last week. But I liked it so much that we decided to keep it, put a vote to the patrons, and it was decided to play Chain of Command on the board. So that's what we're, that's what we're playing tonight. Uh, we did another vote uh, to see who was going to play, and it was the French who won, so we're heading to early war. French versus Germans, and uh, should be a good game. So let's go ahead and dive into the briefing. Starting with terrain as usual, tonight's mat is going to be the medieval city mat again. Uh, this is by Cigar Box. Awesome city mat, well laid out, lots of space for buildings, lots of open lines of fire. If you want to get one, check out the description. Uh, we're also going to be using some of our new Micro Art Studio pre-painted MDF buildings. Super awesome, come with windows and everything. So this restaurant here, the garage with the gas tanks or the gas pumps, this cafe, and then these three sheds are all micro art. Really nice stuff. Uh, if you can, uh, if you want to get some really nice pre-painted terrain, definitely check them out. So lots of buildings on this uh, board. Obviously, they're all going to be hardcover, and we got some line of sight blocking stuff. We got the wooden fence and the hedges. So these are going to be the same. It's going to be two inch visibility, major obstacles, soft cover. We have some woods here, some woods there, and then a small patch of woods back there. And then we have some other types of fences. These types of fences here, the shorter fences, these are just going to be no line of sight blocking, but soft cover. And that's pretty much it for terrain. So let's talk about the mission. Tonight we will be playing the Swift to Support mission for the 1940 Blitzkrieg Handbook. And in this one, the attacker, which we will decide randomly, we'll roll to see who's going to be the attacker. And the attacker is going to be placing four jump off points in one corner. So whatever corner the attacker wants to attack from, we'll let them make that choice. But they will roll a d6 and a 1 to 3, they'll place them here, all four of them. And a 4 to 6, they'll place them here. So pretty close together. The defender, is, meanwhile, is going to place four patrol markers anywhere on the other half of the board. So huge area for the defender to, to deploy in and a very small area for the attacker to attack from. For force support, we're going to roll 2d6 and add 6, and that'll be the force support available to both sides. So the defender is going to get as much support as the attacker in this one, which is a big difference to normal chain of command. Uh, the the uh, caveat to that being the defender cannot bring any of their support in until turn 2. So the attacker is going to have all of the first turn, however long that may last, to have all of his support, his entire force, get as far as he can, and do as much damage as he can. And hope that the turn doesn't end. And the objective here is to capture all of the defenders jump off points. So it's going to be a tough mission for sure for the attacker. Um, depending on how long that first turn lasts we'll see. But uh, should be a pretty fun game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the forces. We begin with the German platoon. So this is a German dismounted cavalry platoon from the 1940 handbook as well. It's got a force rating of minus one. So this platoon is going to be commanded by Lieutenant Horton. He's going to be armed with a pistol, and the second senior leader is going to be the platoon sergeant, Sergeant Leach, armed with an SMG. We also have three squads. Each squad is going to be an MG34 team with rifle or uh, three crew, and then we have a nine-man rifle team. So big rifle teams in this one. Lots of shots going down range with these guys. So should be pretty good. Uh, we've never played the cavalry platoon, so we'll see how it does. Uh, it's pretty much just a beefed-up uh, infantry platoon, but it's got much more limited support options. So. See how that goes for the Germans, and let's take a look at the French. The French platoon is also going to be different than the platoons that we normally play with in early war. This is a French Dragon Porte platoon, plus three force rating. So the force rating difference, difference between the two forces is four. So four more uh, support points going to the Germans, which is different as well. So in charge of this platoon, we have a lieutenant with pistol. This is Lieutenant Olivier Decalon, and assisting him is the Sergeant Chef, platoon sergeant and Vala. And he's a full senior leader. He's not an inferior senior leader, and he's armed with a uh, submachine gun. We also have a VB launcher team. Uh, it's three guys and a junior leader with VB launcher as well, so four VB launchers. Then we have three squads. Each squad is uh, one big team, so these aren't split up into two teams. And each, each squad is consisting of two machine gun teams, four riflemen, and a junior leader with rifle. So I did have to do some proxying in this list, uh, which I don't like to do, but we're, I wanted to try something different. 
So we're going to have some riflemen standing in as machine gun teams. The black base is going to be the machine gun and the tan base is going to be the assistant. So we're going to have three of those uh, proxied. And yeah, that's it. So that is the French platoon. That's the briefing. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Andre's arrived. We've done the patrol phase, uh, force morale wise. Uh, Andre's at an 11. What did I get? I forgot what I rolled. Um, I think I had a 10. I was. I think you rolled a three, but oh, that's a I nine then. Okay, I'm a nine. Swear to it. I'm a nine. I never put it on my chart, so I'm a nine. Andre's an 11. He got a six. Um, and we rolled for attacker defender. I'm going to be attacking with the French. Andre's going to be defending with the Germans. I started off in this corner and I wound up getting a jump off point here behind these woods. One on the edge here and one inside the piggery there. And Andre's got some officers in the top floor of this building as a jump off point. He's got a jump off point in the rat bastard and he's got his final jump off point uh, behind or by the church. 12 support points each. Andre can't bring him in until turn two. And I think that's all the preliminary stuff, so we'll go ahead and do our plans. The German plan. All right, well, it's uh, pretty uh, straightforward. I, uh, I initially was thinking about lining these hedgerows up uh, along the side of the road and stationing in the buildings behind and pinning Travis into this uh, fenced area which would be an awesome plan except for the fact that uh, he's got 12 support points and is likely bringing uh, well I know he actually mentioned he's bringing a uh, armored car and a tank so that wouldn't have worked well which uh, even before that I figured what if I he's gotta come to me I'm defending so instead of getting as close to him as I can what if I pull back a bit make him edge his way across the board which hopefully will allow me time to roll a bunch of fives get my support dice in the turn and allow my 12 points of support to come on at which point it's going to be a lot rougher for travis so the rat bastard is covering this jump off point i've got one back here by the church so i can uh, take the bell tower or line this hedgerow and kind of cover coming in well covering the square so i've kind of got the a triangulated on the center of the board not that he would you know just come out uh, down the center through open terrain but um, i don't know which side he's going to go down i'm guessing he might come up both sides um, his vehicles are going to be coming in on that road over there so really it's going to be a race to uh, get my reserves on the board. Um, what have I got? So I got, uh, oh, don't remember the exact names, but I've got an AT gun for uh, four points. I got a light howitzer for four points. Um, for three points, I've got the uh, off-table machine gun. And for one point, I've got uh, Pierre for the... Uh, uh, well, I don't know if his name's Pierre. Anyway, the uh, shabby Nazi trick. Those of you that have uh, watched Germans, uh, Travis playing the Germans, he always hoses me with that uh, um, informant guy that uh, shuts down my uh, activation. So hopefully I can uh, turn the tables on him here. So, the plan, yeah, really just waiting for Travis to come across the board. Um, probably going to have to deploy some stuff just to try and slow him down a little bit, but don't really want much on the board um, until we're getting close to getting that turn in. So uh, my plan is to roll a lot of fives. Here we go.
Okay, so the French plan, I have to capture all the jump off points, which is not going to be easy. He's got them up in buildings mostly, and then pretty far away from my deployment area. But for support, I had 12 points of support, so I'm going to bring two vehicles. Bring the Somu S35 tank and the Panhard 178. Uh, they should be able to run amok um, early on because Andre is really not going to have any anything except machine guns to try to drive me off. Uh, that's one of the reasons he put them in the buildings is because if they were all this on the ground, I could possibly just zip around with my vehicle and just capture them all. So that's going to force me to come out with my infantry to get up in those buildings and take them out. I also brought a medic and the red dice for the French. So a rare red, uh, French red dice. So I got my three support and the red dice. So that'll help me with the two vehicles, uh, get extra threes. So I hopefully will be able to activate the vehicles uh, more often with the extra dice. That's the plan at least. Uh, otherwise, vehicles are gonna be coming in over here. And infantry is gonna be deploying in here and moving up base of fire. And vehicles come out, if we can catch any Germans in the open, try to light them up and just get the vehicles out in, 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 in the village and have a bunch of French uh, machine guns lining this, this here. Uh, maybe bring one squad in here and start moving this way, come around the back of the Rat Bastard, go up there. I will see, but I do need to get up into these buildings to capture those two. So we'll see if, uh, we'll see how, our, how hard that's gonna be. But pretty much my plan is to use the vehicles to drive around, try to blast them, uh, weaken them, and then start coming out with the infantry and capping points. So that's my plan. All right, Andre, I'll go first. Woo! Oh, three fives. Oh, no. Beautiful! That's not good for the uh, turn ending. And I can bring in two things. Better than three sixes, though. Yeah, All I'll right. pass. And a one and a two. So we're going to have the black die is going to be... The red die. The red die. Black is red. Black is red in our French. world. So one, 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 two, three. Three, two, chain of command points. So that's quite a bit of stuff. But I brought my tank in on the road here. He's gone on overwatch. And then I brought in two squads inside the yard here. Uh, one off of this jump off point and the other one off the other jump off point. And couldn't go on overwatch or anything. Not really anything to see anyway. So we'll see if Andre can get three more fives. Remember I predicted. No, you said I was going to get four and two. No, I said you were going to get two, oh, three, three and three. Three fives, two times. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll stick with <laughs> Travis's plan. I'm okay with that. Oh, oh two more. we split the difference. Wow, he's going to have five. Three and two. I didn't make it. Although I've been at five for a long time before. <laughs> but we got uh, two, two, four. Bring in a bunch of stuff. I could start yeah, bring watching. It. Bring it in. <laughs> I need more. Uh, hey, I got three fives. I'm going to keep the Damn. turn going. <laughs> Not going to end it yet? <laughs> uh, one, three, four. So the tank advanced up on the road. Just 3D6 moved up there. Facing the restaurant. And over here I brought um, Sergeant Chef and Vala in, my senior leader with SMG. And he ordered both squads to move up. These guys rolled a triple two, triple deuce. Took a shock, didn't make the fence. Which is actually probably not a horrible thing. <laughs> These guys got a 10 and they made it all the way to the fence. And the next phase. Oh no, another five. And another five. Okay, well he can end and the turn. And another one's down, and another one's Man, down. Man, that was a fast end of turn. <laughs> the fastest end of three phases. That's, you uh, predicted two, but it lasted three. Yeah. Well, actually I, I was... This is as fast as I really had thought it was possible, but... And a two, three, four to work with. Alright, Andre ended the turn. Uh, now... All the support can start showing up. 12 points of support. Uh, so burn the red dice with a 6. 2, 2, 1, 1, 3. Got my pan hard in. He got a, like a 26 inch move or something doubling on the road. Passed up the tank. So he hauled ass up here past the tank. The tank also moved up. And then with my last one, I had that squad just move up and then junior leader pulled the shock. Uh, Andre decided not to deploy his fifth columnist. 
Uh, well, I was thinking about bringing a squad in and I changed my mind. But he's got the fifth columnist as a shabby, shabby Nazi trick. Which or at is, least that's what Travis thinks. Not that I would ever play uh, that kind of a mind this game is with the, you. This is the fifth columnist. This is a fluffy uh, O'Driscoll. <laughs> <laughs> he suddenly changed sides. <laughs> no, with a name like Fluffy, he was, uh, <laughs> he was always a Nazi. Hey, you keep rolling fives. So you got a two. You never have too many dice. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Ray's brought his AT gun out behind the rat bastard. He's going to fire at the pan hard side shot, five AP. So I'm rolling two dice? Oh, yeah, two to hit. It's a hit. Oh, oh it's almost a critical hit. It's not critical? Almost. You need a double sixes. That would definitely be it for the pan hard. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> 11 isn't critical well, on that? 12 is a critical. Uh. But since you're hit from the side, it's fours. Three uh, of three them. Three hits. Okay, I got to get at least, well, <laughs> two would be nice. I'll take one, though. Should I re-roll that? Or? It is pretty straight up three. But okay, so yeah. one. One, so two net hits. So roll a d6. Two. Two net hits on an armored car. Two shot, gunner killed, two phases to change. Gunner killed. Uh, That's okay, he was the only guy on the turret. Oh, <laughs> no, that was my... <laughs> he killed my leader. <laughs> All right, so gunner killed, two shot. All right, so that's the three. You can move? I can move. I think oh. it's, it just said I had to do two, I had to wait two phases to change, to replace the gunner and took oh. two shock. Oh. So, uh, pack 36 came in, did his damage on the armored car, and Andre's done. So I'm going to move on to my phase. Uh, wow. A three and a four. So that's a burn. And a chain of command dies. And a chain of command dice. Excellent. The um, pan hard decided to get out of dodge. Got a bad roll, but double movement for wheel vehicles on a road, so I was able to get out of there. Without that, I would have been just still sitting there uh, in the path of the Pack 36. Uh, meanwhile, Anvala here has moved up behind the garage, and he's put that squad on Overwatch. These guys are going to fire at the Pack 36. I can only see him with. Uh, this machine gun team and two rifles. So needing fives. That's a lot of fives. Man. Five fives. Whoa. It's gonna be five saves on the pack 36 and soft cover from the gun shield. Looks like only one shock, which I'll take that. Could have been a lot better for me. Uh, I think that's yeah, that's it for me. So it's Andre's phase. I don't get any more fives. Hey, no more fives. fives. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Andre has used a three to bring in another support unit, which is the 75 millimeter howitzer, which is glued on upside down, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's gonna take a shot at my pan hard, but I'm gonna use my chain of command dice and try to get out of there because I cannot survive another side shot on that thing. So I'll go ahead and do my move. So the one, Andre's going to have the AT gun. The leader pulled the shock. Uh, he's heavily obscured behind this building here, though, so he's going to need a nine to hit. It's a seven, or an eight. It's an eight. eight. It's an eight. You sure it's not uh, an eight to hit? Yeah, it says nine. Uh, <laughs> you said nine. <laughs> That's what the chart says. All right, we'll see what else he'll do. Uh, Andre's brought in a squad. Are you... Did you bring a senior leader in with them? No. Uh, you got some rifles left out? All right, we'll put those guys <laughs> in. They'll go up there with the officers. But anyway, he's got a... So he put a squad inside the building, put a machine gun on the top floor, a couple of riflemen, he's kind of spread the rest of the riflemen out throughout the uh, house. So he's going to fire at these guys here. Need force. Ten shots. One, two, three, four. Let's okay. That. So... Soft cover. A dead. That's it. No, it's the leader. Uh oh. It's the big man. He takes a wound. 
The big man takes a wound. Wounded big and man. And voila. That's probably a minus one. Yeah. Okay. Finally, Lieutenant Horton has appeared behind the rat bastard to command the guns. And now it is the French phase. That was crap. Hey, I got a three on the red dice. Oh, Ooh, wow. Look at all. Okay. I think You're I could. You're doing stuff today. I could do a lot of stuff. That was a one, right? Three. Three. Okay, we'll figure it out. We got uh, two ones, three threes, and a four. Wow. First thing I did, I used a three to pull the two shock off of the pan heart. I had the uh, tank just reverse back out of the way of the AT gun. So he got a pretty decent move back. With the two ones, I brought a squad in here. With the other three, I'm gonna have this squad fire. And with the four, I'm gonna try to activate this guy to uh you can't they can't see anything can they <laughs> uh i'll probably reposition him to try to get within nine of all these guys even though he's only got two commands but i do have a medic who i almost brought in but i know that if i tried to act use him to activate either of these that the uh fifth columnist fluffy would appear so playing gonna, around the fifth columnist i know he's out here um, so we'll do this squad up here first so firing into the restaurant. Hard cover. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fours out of thirteen dice. That is a good roll. I'm having trouble competing with this rolling, Travis. Yeah, that's insane. That was uh, ten. Yep. So I think you got two riflemen in there, so, and then the machine gun. So you can, you have to split them up. So five and five. Five and five. What's first? Rifles. It's a dead and a shock. shock. Okay, machine gun. Three shock. <sighs> yeah, that's the first squad of firing. You gotta roll for your leader too, by the way. You have a junior leader in there. It's not him. All right, so the next squad, the back squad here, is gonna need fives because they're more than 18 inches away. We got one, two, only two that time. I guess it evened out in the end, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that, but nothing on the rifles, nothing on the machine gun. Okay, well, not horrible. I'll yeah. take a dead and a bunch of shock. Yep, yep. So the machine gun's down a guy. No, the uh, rifle's down a guy. The rifle's down a guy, okay. This phase. Oh, oh no, double, double phase. phase. That's not good. So you can shoot twice at me. One, three, uh, four to work with. Okay, double phase. It's about to kick my butt here. But uh, he's got the one. He's going to use it to activate the machine gun in the window. He's going to fire at those guys. So I'm needing five. Three hits. Three hits. Okay, and they're all in the open. Uh, one dead and a shock. So one dead and a shock. Not uh, fabulous, but fairly yeah. average. Yep. Or okay. slightly below, and rifle do that. Yep. And, and then okay. next is a squad. Uh, he brought a squad in by the hedge. And you said 13? 17. Unless you're within 12. I am. Then you're going to be at 8, 19. Oh, so the yeah. SMG sergeant can reach, and he's going to fire at those guys. Soft cover, but hitting on fours with 19 shots. And this is only the first phase. I need a whiff. Uh, I see Pretty a little, whiff. Look at all those not fours. Holy shit. That's that's a What? That is a whiff. I needed that. Wow. We got two more over here. What? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Only six hits. Wow. That was seventeen dice. Nineteen. Nine no, uh I think I'll figure it out. All right, I got lucky there for this one, but well, I still got to roll my saves. We'll see how lucky we got. A dead and a shock. Ugh. Not the leader. So, Ugh. phase one, so far, so good. He also had uh, Horton. He had the howitzer move around to get a range on those boys down there. So he's just moved up here next to the rat bastard, and then he's left the AT gun there and just gonna fire. Uh, I never did look at the HE on that. Hold on. 
go ahead. Three shots, need the force. Got one. one hit. And that reduces cover by one, so a shock. Okay, and I think uh, <laughs> I think that's it for phase one of Andre's uh, double phase. Don't roll another one. I did not. But you can do a lot with two, two, two threes, and a four. Four and a nice. yeah, two, okay. two, three, three, four. So Andre brought a squad in back here by the church. I was just over four inches from that, sadly, uh, so that I wasn't able to stop. I actually, that. scooched it back. You're probably within four inches now. Oh, cool. <laughs> so take them off. <laughs> So the squad went up here, machine gun up in the tower, rifle team along the hedge. Uh, he brought in Sergeant Leach into the restaurant. He took off two shock, he transferred a guy, up, another rifleman into the window for another shot. So I think pull you're down to- Pull two shock. Yeah, pull two shock off the machine gun team. And then the three- the, everybody to fire. The three, the junior leaders pulling another shock and then ordering the squad to fire. So actually that was probably a little different order, but there are enough commands to make that happen. Right. And then he's going to have, over here, he's going to have Horton fire the two guns. So everything, the whole platoon going, well, whole platoon minus a few riflemen, or a lot of riflemen. Did I fire the, no, okay, he moved, never mind. You can fire him this turn. I can fire him this turn. All right, where do you want to start, Travis? Uh, let's start with the, the windows on these guys again. Okay. Unless so you're putting everything on them. Um, Which might not be a bad idea, but... Let's actually... I'm not going to let you choose. I'm going to choose. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, do... All right. The squad along the hedge first. Here we go. Can you do better than last time? It's hardly, I hardly not hard not to. <laughs> I'm like, I put money on it. That's a lot better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine hits. This nine! Time. That's what average, right? We've got nine hits. Nine We're hits. average. <laughs> nine hits in the open. The squad along the fence. Soft cover. You're my only hope. Uh, that's not going to do it. Uh, dead and three shock. So let's check the leader. So a dead and three shock. All right. That's the first volley. Let's take another rifleman out. And three shock. Three shock. What You're am I up to? Up to five. Up to five, okay. Come on, be pinned. <laughs> Come on, pinned. So, three, six, seven, eight. So you can take three more shock. And then I'll be in hard cover. Before you're in hard cover. Perfect. All right, okay. so next up. Uh, how about we fire the howitzer at him now? Howitzer, okay. Next up, the 75 mil infantry gun will fire at those boys needing fours. Three hits. Reducing cover to they're zero. In the open. Another dead and a shock. Okay, I'm getting closer. I lost a man and took another shock, so I'm going to be one, two, three, four, five, seven guys with six shock. Two more shock. Okay, so you want to fire the uh, AT gun at him? With the HE3? Yeah. Okay, so three shots. Two hits. Reducing cover. Oh, oh, look at that, snake eyes. Insane heroism. We don't care. You're shock free. <laughs> Sweet, I pull all my shock. Uh, all right, so that's that. So now he's still got the squad in the building and then the new squad that came in over there. Andre's going to switch up. He's going to have the guys in the restaurant here. Pepe's, I think I'm going to name it Pepe's. He's going to fire at the uh, guys in the open now. Needing fives this time. One, two, Four three, hits. four. Not bad. Four hits in the open. Using Pepe's as a base of fire, it's not cool. Ooh. Two shock. Oh, in the open fights don't... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, two dead, yes, yes. I was thinking threes. <laughs> Check the leader. It's the leader again. Oh. Uh, he is wounded. It's another bad thing, I'm at eight. Oh, man, that's not good, a six. I'm down to a level, or a wounded leader. I gotta get my medic. He's got some work to do. I got two wounded leaders. Medic, back here. medic okay. please. So I got medic. eight shots back here. Eight shots with the machine gun. Is that right. going to be fives? Yeah. What are you shooting at? Guys in the open. All right. Yeah. Eight shots from the church. Ah! One hit. One hit. Uh, point of shock. So up to two shock now. 
And then you still got the rifle, the rifle team along the head. And riflemen from the squad there are gonna fire at these guys. Eight and fives. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. Woo! Oh, they've been at the range. Just, uh, yeah. They wanted to get into some action. Soft cover. Oh! Ooh, two dead. Soft cover. Oh. <laughs> the leader again. That's the third leader guy. Is it? It's the He's junior. killed. No, no, no. That was your role for oh. junior. Oh, okay. So, so it's junior. junior and he's, he's still killed. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Three leaders hit. What the hell? That's where my force morale is going. Four. Uh, yeah, that's not. That's so, yeah, I dropped the four now because of that. Uh, so I've gone from nine to four just on these three leaders. But that was it. Which means I lose a dice. Oh, I think I lose my red dice now too. Oh. <laughs> Which sucks. I think I, I think I lose the red dice on these guys when it gets when they get to five. So yeah, I'm gonna lose my red dice and my other one. So I'm gonna lose two dice. I'm gonna go from six dice down to four. That sucks. Uh, yeah, it does. All right, so that's it. Yeah. Are you finally done? Uh, I'd shoot more shit if I could God. find it. That double phase was just... That uh, was brutal. That was the end of the game, basically. Yeah. Well, <laughs> on a, your troops came through okay. If you can get the dice and not let these leader hits and suck you down a dark uh, hole, but... It's, well, it's, it's too late for that. Well... They've already done that. Uh, uh, if you get the right rolls on four dice, you can still pull this out. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. Um, I haven't you gotten... got to get lucky now. Um, you're forgetting I need to capture all your jump off points. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you survived. The, you're holding the ground you're on fairly well. You hold our well. deployment area so far. <laughs> I still got the tanks, so if I get threes, I can maybe do something with those. So, we'll see what happens. Nice. Well, there's some threes. Nice roll. Okay, cool. Four, a one, and two threes. So, I did no, I'm, not, I'm doing no shooting, which is never a good sign in this game. But with what I could do, I moved my tank, so he'll probably just move that up, but what am I going to do? I'll just have to drive through the hedge. So the tank moved up there behind the hedge. The armored car moved all the way around the building here to look this way. And then I brought in my medic. So my medic came in over here and healed that junior leader there. Medic! And then I was going to about to activate Anvala, and then Fluffy appeared. And he is whispering in his ear something about the CO wants to see him back at the HQ or something. Something about uh, stubbing his toe and needing to get back to yeah. get patched up. You got to get back to the CP. The, uh, the CO needs You're to injured. talk to you about something. <laughs> yeah. We found something in your foot locker. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to, uh, he's stopping him. He can't do anything. I was going to use him to activate both of these squads, but that's that. So, all right, Andre, uh. finish me off. Because I did no shooting, which is horrible. Not uh, and not after a double phase. That's not a comeback. No. <laughs> and that's not a double phase. One, three, three. All right. So Leech uh, in here. He's uh, pull the shock. He's gonna have both sections fire. Starting off with the uh, pull squad along the hedge. Got these guys needing fours. So Two, see. four, six, seven. Seven hits. And soft cover for now. Soon to be hard cover. One way or another. Oh, it is. Just Four. one shock. Just one. Yeah. Oh. Do I have uh in my pin now? Uh three, six, seven with seven. So I'm not pinned yet. Damn it. I needed to be pinned. <laughs> Might as voluntarily be pinned. <laughs> Guys, give myself a what shock. are you doing? <laughs> um Okay, so that's the guys along the hedge. You still got the two, the ten shots from the window. Yeah, they're gonna back at the guys in the open. Yeah, can't pass that up. All right, in fives. Two, two hits. Enough to kill the leader. Okay, dead. It's not Ooh, the leader not this the time. Leader. Wow, it's a miracle. Okay, so that's uh, a four, so he's got a three left. Okay, the 75 mil gun is gonna fire at them now, the fours. On six shots, three hits. Three hits in the open. Two dead. Oh, that's a pin. That's not the not leader, the leader though. though. 
So I'll but definitely be pinned now. You're running out of rifles, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get 75 shots at you. And you are pinned. Finally. Finally. Um, that's and that's it. that's it, isn't it? Yep. All right. French phase. Oh. Well, a six isn't good. Two fours and a one. So I can't do anything with my tanks. <laughs> Which is all I wanted to do. Let's open up with machine guns. Oh, harsh. All right. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> well, I had the medic run up. He's going to try to heal him. I finally brought Olivier in, in the piggery, because I was going to have these guys run up here to get out of the open. Three dice. They took a shock. They rolled a one, two ones and a two. And they had a shock. And they took another shock. So they're right basically where they were. So nothing happened, and then he's going to try to use Fluffy to stop... Uh, whisper, whisper, whisper. Am I trying to roll high or low? Uh, I think on a 1 to 3, he he stops him. On a 4 to 6, I recognize him. Alright, he stops him. Well, that's pretty much game, then. <laughs> I might as well concede at this point, because there's no... There's no way I'm going to be able to survive another... Well, let's see what you get. If you get a double phase, I'll definitely concede. <laughs> Because I can't possibly survive. A it. double yeah. phase would do it. That it's is not. A double not. Phase, but it's two, 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 it's three. It's activating. Which is pretty much everything. Most everything, yeah. So we got a. He's going to have leech again. Everything at these guys in the open. Should have moved tactically. Um, if I knew I was going to move that So way. actually, it's. Oh. Because okay, well, I can't. Uh, the everything. Oh, okay. They'd be in uh, cover. So 17. Actually, I can't even see him. Right. 17 so and the guys on the hard box. cover. Hard cover. Needing fours. Yeah. Not bad. So seven. seven. Seven hits. Hard cover though. Another dead and a shock. Not the leader though. Not a leader. Somehow it's Is it possible to take guys out without hitting leaders? Yeah, I got yeah, I got uh, some dead. Who do you want to lose? Uh take the loader out there. Okay. Of the uh we'll one of the machine gun teams. There right, we go. So that's the uh guys along the uh, hedge. So we got ten shots from the from Pepe's down at the guys in the open. Yep, yep. These are needed five. That's Ooh, pretty good. That's two, four, six. That is way over average. Three, six. Oh. Two more dead. And a shock. And a shock. Not the leader, though. That'd be funny if it was Olivier who got killed <laughs> in the piggery. Um, so, a rifle and a loader again? Yeah. Yeah, a rifle and a loader. Okay, so that's uh, one four. Yep. The machine gun now. This is with the. Well, with the two you can't. Three. Oh, this is the oh, three. Two. Oh. A two you can't have a squad split up, split fire. You would have to have the senior or junior leader. So I gotta fire everything at. Uh, that's that one thing, yeah. Oh. And most of the rifles can't see them. Right. So. These I guess here. we're shooting over there. Okay. So that'll be the again the full nineteen shots. All right, all with the guy with the squad of the dead leader. Needing fives. Three, four, five, six. Six hits um, in soft cover. Uh, three shock. So they're up to four shock now. Yeah. Okay, and then the uh, the cannon was going to fire again? Yeah. The AT gun or the... Uh, no. Um, I mean... Well, I think you wouldn't be able to fire if you moved, though. So well, you'd have rotate to rotate and fire, right? Uh, I think that's bolt action. Oh. In bolt action, you can rotate and fire at minus one. And this one, I think you have to actually move. Hmm. Um, then, well... The cannon? Realistically, I would probably need to take the AT gun out of there to uh, negate, make your tank come after me so I could keep hammering on this. So you could just zip up here into the, between the buildings. Well, and if we're going to keep playing, uh, I guess I should do that because uh, 
Okay. So. All right. He's going to move the AT gun up. The AT gun <laughs> just moved up between the buildings and he's out of line of sight of the, uh, of the tank. And it's the French phase for what it's worth. Two ones. Hey, a chain of command point. Woo! <laughs> That'll come in handy. Two. I can move one of the tanks at least. Yep. And then two ones. Panhard is moved up 1d6, got 4 inch move. And we're finally going to fire a vehicle. We haven't fired a shot yet <laughs> from a vehicle. It's uh, going into these guys, needing fours. Uh, so we got three, three hits. hits. Soft cover. Hey, one dead Ooh. and a shock. Check your leader. Oh, it's him. Is this the start of our comeback? He takes a wound. And bad thing. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. I need a I need you to drop two there. He's still at eleven. I'm in a four. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's a three. Uh, with the other one I'm gonna have my medic move up and I don't know if I can heal him the time I move. I think I have to do that next time. Then I have a one left. Um, I don't think I can even do anything with that. I guess I could if I had a target, I could activate that bow gunner or something, but nothing to shoot at, so that's it for Actually, my couldn't you activate the driver with that one? I think so. Drive through the hedge? Yeah, let's do it. So I think I, if I roll a double, I get it bogged down. Uh, <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. What could go wrong, Travis? <laughs> On a night like this, uh, what could possibly bogged go down. wrong? I'm not bogged down. All right, I think I still have to remove the one of them, but I'll go through the hedge. Uh, Somu has made it through the hedge. We're coming around. All I need is like uh, five phases in a row and the three on every single one, and I might be able to drop under his force morale to eight. Ah, three fives. <sighs> wow. And just a two. Just a little two. So just one squad firing, which uh, helps a lot. I mean, wow. Yeah. The two, Andre is going to have the squad along the hedge. Fire at the pin squad there along the fence. Eden fours. Looking for a break. Breaker, breaker. It's not That's very a break. Good. Yeah, it's not that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's average. Very average. Okay. Um, what'd you say you needed a kill and a shock and I break? I think so. Um, that would take you down to three guys. How about a kill and two shock? That would be uh, and three guys not the leader. with ten shock. Yeah. <laughs> ten? Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely going to break. All right, so 2d6 plus six back. Now I roll high. Oh, and they go through these guys. Oh, they're going to interpenetrate? Yep. Oh, my God. So that might break, <laughs> that might break both of those squads. So you said 12? 12 plus 6. Oh, they're off the board. Okay, so they're going to be gone. Leader with them. How many shock do they have? 10? 10. With how many guys do they have left? Or they lost? They were at three guys. So one of these is just down here, right? Yeah, so it's, those, that's gone. So it's three guys with 10, so you had seven over, so that would be seven on so these guys. So double would be six, so three would go on to those guys. What do you mean double would be six? So they broke at six, right? There's three guys. Well, but they've got 10. Right, okay, so four. So these guys will take four shock. Because you take the excess shock. Oh, above what broke oh, them? I think so, yeah. Oh. I think. I thought it was just the excess over, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's excess over over broke. Mm, I thought it was excess over bodies, but I could be making that up. Uh, who knows? Um, it hardly so, matters. So, we're so they're at six. No, we're at seven. Seven. Yep, so they're pinned. One, two, three, with four guys. Yeah, so they're going to be pinned now. Okay, so a uh, bad thing for squad breaks and then junior leader routes. Yeah, that'll be it. That's going to be Minus three for sure. And I'll be at one, I think. Let me double check. So I'm at one on my force morale, and the uh, a deck alone is going to call the uh, withdrawal. So we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so the uh, French got cleaned up. Got their clock cleaned. 
pretty bad today. Um, the German cavalry platoon came into town and just uh, obliterated them. So it's dice gods, right, Andre? <laughs> oh, pretty much uh, all the way. It was, you know, phase three, four. I was really worried. I didn't think I was going to pull it out. Um, yeah, I, I, I saw it going sideways on me. Uh, well, your, your armored car scooted off, and I'm like, God, he's just going to come up, uh, you know, you're going to outflank me with your armor and chew me up and piecemeal me out, and I'm not going to be able to drive off your uh, vehicles, and you're just going to whittle my force morale down as you slow advance out. I mean... That was the plan. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> and it was going real well for a while for you. Well, yeah, but uh, the turn ending in turn three or phase your third phase was, that was insane. Without you know, in this in this mission, the the attacker needs to have quite a few phases to kind of get well, get on the board, get in position, and start moving. Realistically, we don't get that first die till no. you know, turn eight or so. That takes a while, yeah. And then uh, so if I had eight phases to. Uh, so I would have been in a lot better. I would have been lining here, everyone on oh, Overwatch. Or you'd have been up over. Yeah. You might have even been farther. Scout um, teams would scout have been sent out. Um, you'd be forcing me to deploy, um, yeah. and I wouldn't want to, and yeah, I so wouldn't know where I'd be putting my artillery when it did come in. Pretty much the uh, the turn ending on phase three of Andre's third phase was the end of my my game, because when you have equal support, there's just <laughs> uh, it's hard enough to win a game when you when your defender has half the support. Yeah. When your defender, when your opponent who's defending has the same amount of support, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. So I really, it really relies on that first turn lasting. First, you, you quite need a few phases. to have that beginning of the game luck run with you. Yeah. All the way through, and that you know, I was worried. Um, up until that double phase, <laughs> that, at which point uh, that was a killer. Yeah, it just uh, the only it double phase of the game so too. fast yeah. uh, at that point. Yeah, I guys in the open. It's like, yeah, because I, what I was gonna do, it's like, okay, you got guys in there. I'll take a machine gun and two rifles against two full squads. Yep. And I'll probably win that firefight, even in oh, yeah. even if you're in. No, you cover. would. You would. So I'm like, I can, I can, I'll take a few. I'll take some damage, but uh, well, in the end, I'll win that. But that double phase the, was. You remember the phase when you got to shoot at me? Hmm. No, <laughs> did I? <laughs> yeah, you killed. Oh, uh, yeah, I you did. killed the gunner. Right. You put three shock on the machine gun and run. one on the. Uh, right. I mean, so just a like a couple more phases ouch. like that, you would have been out of those windows. Oh yeah, no, you. That was a, a completely winnable firefight, yeah. except I pulled that uh, double phase yeah. out of uh, some unmentionable spot. That double and, phase uh, was, so that and the uh, early end of the turn spelled the end for uh, the French in this one. I never even got out of my little zone there. It was, yeah, I mean, the chances of getting all three of those uh, jump off points without having eight or nine phases to to move up and lure you out and blast away, not, not very likely. Well, and realistically, the wind condition on this one, my force morale is going to be at zero by the time you're able yeah. to take all the... That's Yeah, you're pretty much... I mean, yeah, the, the objective is to take the uh, jump off points, but ultimately these games almost always come down to force morale. Which, that was kind of the insane part, was you really weren't... Your forces weren't that badly damaged over no, here. No, the leader hits were just... But you just got devastated uh, on the force morale, and once you start, once you lost that red die, well, you lost two dice. And... Yeah, I lost two dice, and yeah, dropping to four lost me two dice. Yeah, so I lost, what, five five points of force morale on the leader hits. I had one killed, senior leader wounded, and another junior leader wounded. Yeah. So that was just bad luck. I mean, you can't, and, there's nothing you can do about that. And your forces weren't doing that badly. No. Other than the fact that uh, you couldn't do anything because you got the fifth columnist there and wounded leaders and crap rolls. Yeah. I wasn't, I mean, really, but it, I could never get my second senior leader in. I'm like, okay, bring the fifth columnist here. I'll just bring my other guy. And I finally did at the end. But it seems like I was never getting like two fours. I never got two fours in a roll. 
it seemed like. Uh, I guess I got a maid a second forward a lot of the time, but... But you were I trying didn't. to activate your vehicles, because that was right. really kind of your win condition is... Yeah, the vehicles you were... to get those into the game. Yeah, because this has two machine guns. The main guns, like, whatever. Three HE or something. I'll take the 12 shots from the machine gun over that any day. Never, I did never fired a shot, and I only fired one shot from the armored car. So, yeah, just not a good game. It was a horrible game for the French. Uh, so, it is what it is. It's uh, that's how chain of command goes sometimes. Get that timely double phase. You roll a bunch of fives at the beginning, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, I can't say my rolling was necessarily on fire, but it's kind of like if I could have just absolutely picked my lucky rolls. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I hit him. Yep. Yeah, when I needed it, I absolutely got it, this game. Yeah. Other than that, it wasn't hugely spectacular rolling, but... Just... Yeah, you had, some serv you had some pretty bad whiffs mixed in with all those. Yeah, but, you know, all you have to do is hit two or three perfect, uh, perfectly timed rolls, and it's a game shift. Yep. So, yeah, so it's uh, another game on this board. Uh, it's a really cool board. Um... We were talking earlier, this is actually the third game we played because we played 0200 hours on that two weeks ago. It was, it was a, a little small four by four but board, but or three by three by three board. Three by three. Yeah, it was just actually it was just uh, kind of yeah. So we played center. three games on this board in three weeks, and there could be a fourth game. So, uh oh. Yeah. So it'd be pretty wild. Um, but anyway, we're dating the video now. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go ahead and call it. So. Um, Oh, plans. What was your plan? We should go over the plans real quick. Did you have a plan? That was your plan, right? Um, I was going to try and stall as much as I could. Um, you know, that was part of not deploying up here, which is kind of what I wound up doing anyhow. You didn't um, stick to the plan. But making you, you know, you would have to come across the board to me. Yeah. And in that time, I'd be able to get my dice, and then I'd be able to uh, counterattack. Well, get, or, <laughs> having the turn end three phases in probably changed your plan. Well, you weren't expecting that. It wasn't so much to change the plan; it's just the plan happened a lot like faster. six turns earlier than I thought it would. Yeah. Um, at which point it's like, well, you had uh, you know both your uh, vehicles right here. It's like I can line my uh, gun up on them. Odds are you're only going to be able to move one of them out of the way, and I'll get to shoot the other one. Yep. Um, I almost, yeah, ah. <laughs> I could taste that armored car going up in smoke, and it was so close, and I just couldn't finish it. He got lucky. He's still alive. Couldn't finish it, yeah. So my plan was, uh, well, was to use the vehicles to zip around unopposed and blast you if you came out. Start, you know, certainly take that one. And just start, you know, make you come out somewhere. You'd have to come out somewhere. And then maybe start moving some guys up. Um, I don't know. But my plan never took off because the way that the uh, the turn ended so early, kind of, I was planning on using the armor, the vehicles, without, any, op without any opposition. Yeah. I mean, maybe they'd try to drive them off or whatever, but. But having to dodge around the guns, yeah, that, um, that changed well, everything. Your armored card survived, yep. but you had to burn, what, two, three threes? to get him out of... And a chain of command dice. Yeah, um, so you were able to save him, but it was uh, it was expensive at a time when you couldn't afford to really be, well... Right. You had to do it, but it wasn't yeah, the wrong... Yeah, to save my force morale. It just sucked. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it was a good game. I mean, for what it was, it was a good game. This, it happens. That's just the way it goes sometimes. And... Uh, so hopefully next time it'll be a better game. I know at the beginning of the game I said, this will be a good game at the intro. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah. I good think it was Andre. an awesome game up yeah. uh, until about, well... Phase four. Uh, until phase four. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks to Andre for coming over. All the guys from the live stream hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Check out our Patreon page, of course. Facebook group and all that stuff. And uh, the... Our sponsors, people that send us terrain like Micro Art Studios, Cigar Box, check those guys out too. So, really great companies, uh, great guys, and uh, just a good part of the hobby. So, supporting them is always a good thing. And with that, we'll go ahead and say thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.